Greetings and salutations, everyone. I wanted to give my first impressions of my newly purchased MX-6000 2023. And I want to start by just kind of showing from the outside, you can kind of see the base model with the cab. Of course, I got the base with the cab. Uh, didn't get the side mirrors right there. I just, that one on the inside works great so far. In the rear here, this is, uh, I had some things added. I'm gonna bring those up. This is the rear honor, the uh, trailer connection, rear remotes. Now, one thing I'm a little unhappy about is Kubota didn't have their standard rear remotes in stock for this. So my dealer added some Summit hydraulics, which made them uh, power over electric, which the Kubota ones use the power beyond and it looks cleaner in the cab. I'll show you it in the cab in a second here. But this does come with the added benefit now of I can switch out the switch to be a constant flow then, so I can push the button and have it push out. The constant flow that Kubota has is actually just a float for the rear hydraulic control. So, blessing in disguise. Standard does come with the drawbar, normal PTO, five, PTO 540, that shield, raise and lowers, little clip for your safety. Easy access for the oil input. This is where your fluid is for the front windshield wipers. Another thing I had added that is not standard is the rear defogger. Also had the rear lights added, and these are not LED. The Kubota ones are not LED. Moving on over to the front. By the way, this is the bucket for it. Just for comical effect, I put it on my BX. Because <laughs> uh, the quick the quick hitch is compatible, of course. It's just the normal skid steer loader. And then I have my very tiny dinky forks, and I slapped them on there. I was doing some, with some trees and stuff around that the uh, BX was just unable to move, but uh, it does work. I am probably going to end up welding some bars over the top here because I, like I said I kind of just use these as brush forks maybe add like a little step or even a another piece of metal going around there that's another project another thing I had added that's not standard since we're in the front here is the front third function valve another thing that's like $70 that I don't know why they just don't include with a tractor this size is the level position so you can you can't really see the bottom of this thing when it's pushed down you can kind of peter off to the side and see it. But for the most part, you cannot see what you're working with directly on there. So that was an absolute must for me. I did order some wheel weights. I didn't do the fill because the fill affects the shock absorption of it. And I don't know, I'm not big, a big fan of the beet juice. One, I can't see the weight, so it might make people nervous seeing me drive around without any weights. So if I have the wheel weights, I got two of them that bolt in through here and so i'm gonna have two so it's going to just barely go on the edge of this tire which is going to be nice and because they are doing that for me they flip the tire around and where is it there it is and you fill in the air on the tire on this side uh, normally it's on the outside with a little guard on it but if you get the wheel weights i think they switch it for you i'm not sure but all the pictures showed it with the fill on the outside but uh, with this setup here on the rear. But because I have the wheel weights, so that's gonna add me 408 pounds, I um, guess I flipped them for me, so that's good. Radio, I had that added. The antenna's installed and the speakers are already come installed. I had to buy a radio. The slot's there for it right there. I don't know if you can see that, doesn't matter. Uh, standard is no handle on the other side, which uh, I'm not going to enter in that way anyway, so that doesn't really matter for me. Front working lights are included, so if you don't plan on working out the rear of it, you probably don't have to get the rears, but they're not that expensive. All right, let's get on in here. Nice solid feel to it, by the way. It's got handle, raise yourself up, another grip handle right there. 
step right there. So I'd, I'd use another hand to do the three point of, of contact before you step in, but here we go. Ugh. So here's the cab. Comes with the mat, of course. All the controls in here you see are normal. You'll have this light if you get the standard. You will not have this. That's the rear, it has a little R on it. So if you get that installed, they'll slap that in there. BTO, electric over hydraulic, AC outlet, little spot, fits my phone perfectly. I'll probably get like a little USB adapter, plug that in. Cup holder on the back, coming on over to the other side, nothing. Little pocket down here where uh, extra plugs are kept. This is what the dealer, I just took delivery on this. This is what the dealer gave me. And uh, one thing, let me find them, is the machine does come with it. So make sure that it's in here. Usually the dealer just throws them in here. But they're little sleeves that turn your category two three-point uh, system into a category one. Because I have a bunch of implements that uh, will just barely clear the wheel way, <laughs> the wheel base like that. So I don't have to rebuy it though. I I'm gonna see how it goes, but I could get the one with the hydraulics now because I have the rear remotes, but uh, this allows me to use all of the BX attachments at the very least. So make sure it's in there. Uh, it should just come with this tractor. Um, on this side is the cruise control. It locks in a little lock, the tractor. And a high, medium, low. Down there is the uh, four wheel control and the diff lock right there, right at your foot. It has steering brakes. If uh, you have that little pin up, this one just breaks both sides for you. If um, you pull that little slider up, then you control left, right braking. So really nice there. Parking brakes right there, you just push that in, lift that up, and then it brakes it for you. This is the steering wheel. Control, just push on that, slides it right up. You can turn the front headlights on by twisting this. Hazards, left, right. Uh, PTO button, so when you push that, it'll allow me to run the PTO off the rear if I wanted. Uh, regen controls, throttle's a nice little shifter here. General instrument, instrument cluster, nice, nice enough. Uh, nice rubber steering wheel, this feels really, really nice. The BX is plastic. This is an actual rubber style thing. Looking around the cab here, the we got two side speakers here and two pillars right there. Airflow right behind you. Dome light right above you. Don't know what the middle light does. I don't think it does anything. You can do two point to open the door. Ugh. You can do two point to uh, have the rear glass open and close if you do that because then it just rests on it get a little fresh air pulling in or opens right up access whatever the heck that is uh, and i can reach this knob for the three point controls from the back there if i have this window open so they don't have a little shifting knob right here to raise and lower that so you might have to come uh, back and forth, moving this back and forth there. This is a little, little set knob you have here to move this up. And now since we're looking over here, this is what they did. They did the Summit Hydraulics, so I have my red and, and black rear remotes. I wanted three, uh, but like I said, they couldn't get the kit, so they slapped this on here for me, and then they threw in the third function. So I only paid for the three rear remotes from Kubota. So I guess this with the Summit is, is more. So they said um, that should make you happy and we can get it to you sooner than two months. So I said, fine, whatever, go right ahead. It's not, not a very clean look, obviously. <laughs> I mean, there's the Summit. They just, they just mounted the, what would have went there is little levers that you can adjust. Would have been much cleaner. Would have basically filled out my entire console. Uh, and now I'm left with, this i'm probably going to try and hide these wires a little bit maybe 3d print like a little shroud kind of cover that i don't know it's a tractor but i don't know it's it, this is a nice tractor so i want to want to make that effort right uh, i was a little little taken back by going this route because like i said i wanted the clean look wanted the kubota base installed but found out from reading that apparently the remotes they have here are just a floater so it just allows 
hydraulic flow to come back into the system, it doesn't necessarily constantly force it out. I wanted to get a nice rear mounted wood splitter for this machine, which in order to operate it, I would have to get something to kind of force this back. So hook something up and then hook it, I don't know, on the cup holder maybe, or back over here, some, some mounting point. I have to make a mounting point for it perhaps to kind of pull it and force the hydraulic flow. Uh, I don't have to do that with these buttons. I can actually just buy, I can replace one of these with a push momentary and then second push hold. So it will just keep the flow going. So that is a very quick way to get that going. So because of that, I should go ahead and put the horribly ug ugly installed Summit Hydraulics in here. If you're on the fence about it, about doing the factory installed hydraulics versus doing the aftermarket summit type hydraulics electric over hydraulic instead of the true blue hydraulic control that Kubota gives you take that into mind that you'll be able to do actually run one of these continuously or both of them if you want so you can run a continuous flow out the back and not have to jerry rig something to, to pull that lever uh, so there is that benefit so just keep that in mind i guess so glad i could learn that for you uh then the summit joystick uh they have the I was worried that this wouldn't feel very good because the Kubota one has different grooves on it, but using it a bit uh, felt pretty good. I really like it. I can keep my elbow on the, the armrest, which, by the way, the armrests aren't standard. Sorry, that was another add-on I did for $80. <laughs> Put armrests on the thing, so just, I guess, slap those on. They don't get in the way. They're not in the way of anything, really. Maybe they'd be in the way of this guy, but I guess if I'm using that one, I could lift it up, and then it's fine. But if all I'm doing is loader work, I kind of want this armrest here. Uh, anyway, so because I got the third function because they threw that in there, they did the nice summit for me. And like I said, I didn't know how these controls kind of work, but I see these little ridges and grooves here, and they're actually there for your fingers, and then you can put your thumb right here. And this actually works really nice for the control here. Yeah. And there's enough fluid in here <laughs> it'll uh kind of lift and push it even but yeah you know so th this actually felt really nice i'm probably gonna get a grapple now i was not even considering a third function <sighs> the only thing and i knew this buying it is they kind of skimped on the cab amenities where they just have a cup holder a little phone slot and nothing over here except this little like back pocket which um you could have easily put something here to hold something you know uh, it's getting chilly on my clothes. And like I said, radio. Had to buy that. Lifts really good. Uh, look up the specs. I mean, this thing is going to be able to lift my my full water tankers there finally. I couldn't do it before. I had to move them, fill them, and then couldn't do anything with them with that guy. Bucket's much, much bigger, as you can see. That's going to be nice moving stuff around. Seated, by the way, seat adjust is right here. I kind of have it mid point i guess there we go nice pretty decent cushion didn't do the air ride um didn't want to spend that money for it didn't feel it was worth it and driving this around eh, that's fine i mean i've been in air rides um if you're particular about it i'd say go for it and get one for me it's pretty easy getting in and out love it again hydraulics are hidden they kind of hide as much as they can they kind of hide as much as they can along here. They protect the shafts much as they can. I don't know what that bolt is for. <laughs> Hopefully the manual tells me. Uh, inside, nice and solid. Pretty good ground, ground clearance there. That's a tire. Everything will work with my current front attachments and rear attachments. It's just they're going to look kind of dinky on this thing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, there we go. That's her. That's the machine. So uh, yeah, we'll get a little little side by side here. Here's the BX with the MX bucket, and uh, the MX with the what I the pallet forks I got for the BX. So, so like I said, love the BX. Still keeping it. Need it for that backhoe. Little small projects. Little work. Not great at field work. I couldn't pull the plow. I bought a plow for it, did not do very good. So I kind of got this for the plow. And it was only a single mold bore. Should have been able to handle it. It's just the ride was unbearable. The tires were too small. It kept getting bogged down. So 
I got this for the horsepower to do that. And also the hydraulic flow is going to be higher so I can do a log splitters and just opens me up to a lot more stuff. If uh, anybody wants to see anything else on either of these tractors, uh, leave me a comment. I'll uh, definitely consider it and very likely just show you what you want to see. So uh, there you go. Until next time, I'm the Uniformed Human. Goodbye.